These are going to be in play here because uh, guys are going to be going for some big arm shots, right, Seth? Yes. Um, distance here on this course really helps you. It helps you uh, get those bonus birdies that you know people with the lower arm speed can't quite get. Mm -hmm. Separate yourself from the field. So hole three is 445 feet, and if you can see that dirt spot right out near the road there, there was a tree there that has been there since the course opened. It actually fell down this year, so it opened this hole up quite a bit for these righty hyzer shots. It's basically just a wide open hyzer now, if you get around that. Chris was pretty inside there on the first shot. He's got a putt down there. Chris is just gonna be looking to put this one close. It looks like his proto PA4 there. Mm -hmm. It's a fun pin placement here because I practice every day. Yeah. Chris, even though he isn't that far away, he's still gonna be doing his routine, taking his time. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be able to put that one in. Mm -hmm. Hole four is uphill, 310 foot Roddy Hauser. Um, most of the guys probably gonna be going with a mid range, wouldn't you say, Seth? Yep. In years past. Um, there was a tree directly off the tee there, so it forced the players to go a little bit more Anheuser. But now that that tree has fallen for the past two years, you've been able to just throw this pretty wide, or for the more power players, even a mid-range. Mm -hmm. Which before, that was kind of an uncomfortable shot. For sure. Or this day, at least. Uh, Dickerson putting for a two here. Yep. Uh, worth mentioning also, Dickerson coming off yesterday. The day before this, uh, he shot a course record at Panther Creek. Yep. So uh, check that round out if you have a tournament. So uh, moving on to hole five here, a 345 foot par three. Uh, this is just basically a tunnel shot straight down through the middle. The right, the right-handed players are going to be. Uh, most of them are going to be throwing the sidearm with some turn. Um, they wanted to come back and just give himself a putt mm -hmm. because the hill slopes from right to left. That you know the, the forehand lands better on the slope. Yeah, as small and as straight as this gap is, you definitely want some sort of flex shot. Just like Dickerson's done here. Yep. That's what you want? Mm hmm This is a hard hole to get. And Chris here looks like he's just outside the circle. He's mm -hmm. going to be uh, step putting it. Mm hmm Looking for a birdie, too. Uphill putt as well. There's some rough footing over there on that side. Yep. Seems that doesn't really matter. Nope. <laughs> Great, Bernie. Moving on to hole number six, uh, 290 feet. A uh, little lefty hyzer, uh, short flick for these righties. Uh, there's right side gap as well, but most of these guys are going to be going on the left side here. Looks like Chris is going to be flicking something like an A2. Pretty overstable at the end. Mm -hmm. Just let it finish up there. You could tell out of his hand, just 100% confidence. Yep. Chris happened to straddle a little bit here. Trying to put this one in there for the two. Yep. He's going to push himself for four down for the round. That's a great down. We're going to be going on to hole number seven, 340 feet. Um, usually the left side gap here is uh, the most common play, but when you've got an arm like Dickerson, a lot of these guys do this big hyzer over the right side. Yep. Looks like Dickerson's going to be going with something like an X1 and just trying to throw it up and let it hazard over to the basket. Mm -hmm. Looks like he did that pretty well, got over that tree that you had to miss. Let's see if we can see it finish. And he's still oh, about yeah. the basket. So. Chris here, after his big hyzer with the next one, mm -hmm. it's looking like he's just going to come over and tap it in. Yeah, as you mentioned, still doing his routine. Just a few feet. Moving on to hole eight. This is a long hole, 615 feet. It's a par four and uphill as well. So uh, basically distance is the key on this one. Yep. Well, the righty hyzer uh, obviously fades into the hill there. So all these righties are probably just going to be throwing backhands just as far as they can. Mm -hmm. Looks like Diggerson... Lining up, taking a big run up and giving that one a little bit of turn. Just deciding to crush it. 
I mean, why not if you can, right? Oh, yeah. And it's he a long is ways. way up there. Just quite out of everybody's range. Until you get to Dickerson here. Yeah, that's... I mean, he's looking at a putt for a two on this. <laughs> 615 foot uphill, and he's jump putting for a two, so. Yep. Or step putting, rather. Give him a little half go, looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, in line, just, just a little not hard bit. enough. Super close. Tap in three from Dickerson. Par going on to hole nine, uh, four hundred and fifty feet, uh, soft par four. Um, this one uh, just wide open, pretty much. Uh, it goes over a valley and then back uphill, so a roll away potential is definitely there. So most of these guys are just going to be throwing the hyzer and just play it into the side of the hill. Mm -hmm. All throwing over stable discs, pretty high. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's see where it lands, and yeah. <laughs> Great roll at the end, mm -hmm. and he's parked. <laughs> so the vast majority of the field is going to be, or the NPO field at least, is going to be two in this hole. Probably nothing higher than a three on this hole, unless there's some... Crazy unfortunate roll away that we'll be moving on to hole number 10, 485 feet, another another par 4 on the scorecard. These guys are probably not thinking par 4, but uh, OB to the right downhill and then OB on the left as well. So OB everywhere on this hole. Yep. Once again, he has the potential to, this is another, if you have the distance, you can get the two hole. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to be getting it though, so you have a chance to get a stroke on the field. Looks like he just, I mean, that's there, but just a little low. Mm -hmm. there. He didn't seem to like that, but I mean, he's definitely going to be up and in for the three. Big sure another half go as well. Yeah. It's under the basket. Happy to get their threes though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Front nine video, uh, 290 feet. Uh, this one's uh, quite different compared to the other holes, not quite as open. Uh, there's a few gaps off the tee pad and then it gets really wooded uh, once you see the smaller trees off into the distance there. Diction going with a forehand. Yep, and that more inside gap. Turn it over and uh, you want it to come back to the right just as he's doing there. And uh, Wow, Almost did that hit the basket? Uh, no. And you got Chris after his forehand. Pretty routine putt for Chris here. Yeah. Up and in, no problems. Bart. Yep, these are holes that uh, the pros are going to be trying to get a two on. You know, to really try to catch Chris. Because mm -hmm. he's starting to run away with it a little bit. Ten strokes up on Joey. As I mentioned, mostly open holes. We start out this back nine on hole 12, which is fairly open once you get through this initial gap here, but it's a very tight gap off the tee. Most of your guys in your MPO division are going to be going through that gap, but there is also another gap. Um, you can. Dickerson here putting for his birdie, too. Let's see if he can put this one in, taking his time doing his routine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great birdie. Mm -hmm. um, this is a hole. It's not going to be gotten by a lot of the field. Uh, moving on to hole 13, 260 feet. Uh, basically just a hyzer shot for lefty or righties, honestly. Yep. All these guys are just going to be doing their backhanded hyzer. Mm -hmm. All right-handed players. Just trying to put it close. The basket is on a slope, so that leaves a little bit of opportunity to roll away, but earlier video a lot older than the rest of these guys but he's up there with them he yep. stays right up with them the just as good as anybody on this card mm -hmm. yep. another birdie from Chris mm -hmm. I was him to the back of Dickerson so there's not much he can do there mm -hmm. uh, moving on to the longest hole on the course hole 14 635 foot this is a par 4 uh, there is OB on the right side and OB on the left as well, but normally that doesn't come into play on this hole. No. These guys are just, as you can see, Chris there, giving a little bit of angle. Um, I would say being a little bit more to the right side of the fairway leaves the hyzer play for the righties more open. 
makes the second shot a whole lot easier. Oh, yeah. Especially with Dickerson here. Really far up the fairway. Just being able to go stand still putter. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great second shot. Chase him down. Um, hole 15 now, 360 feet. Uh, par 3. Uh, this one's uh, a tunnel shot. There is a lefty hyzer shot, but probably not going to see any of these guys go with a flick on the outside. Uh, they're going to be trying to go right down through the middle with some sort of flip up or turnover shot. Yeah, this this uh, plays a little bit better for the uh, righty backhand because the hole finishes slightly to the left. And Dickerson mm -hmm. just hit an early tree there on the left. That might be his basket. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, if you can get up there on that little putt and green area, um, at least the players uh, at this level are going to be hitting that putt. And Dickerson, if I'm not mistaken, first par of the round. Is that right? Yep. And that all these pros should be getting is 310 feet downhill. Mm -hmm. It's kind of long. But yeah, might have went a little deep actually. Dickerson surprisingly going turnover in my opinion. Uh, he has a great sidearm, so to see him do this is a little weird. That's looking great. Oh, yeah. He's very good at the turnover as, turnover as well. <laughs> yep. He's gonna make that putt. Yeah. Dickerson after his only part of the round so far on the last hole, he's back to getting another birdie. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to come back. You just don't let problems, right? Yeah. Uh, moving on to hole 17, 480 feet. Dickerson. Righty back in as well. Looks like that's his D2. Taking his good run up, as always. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to go inside that tree as well. Oh, unfortunately, hit and got knocked yeah. down. Mm -hmm. You think uh, Chris is trying to be aggressive here or just sit this um, one out there? Who knows? Yeah. It looks like he just. Dickerson tapping in. BB going to do strokes behind him. Uh, going on to hole 18, 455 feet. I'd say most of these guys, if they, they get the right flex on their disc, they could probably reach this. Oh, yeah. Everybody on this card mm -hmm. definitely has the capability of two in this hole. While it does say 455, it's significantly uphill. Mm -hmm. Plays quite a bit longer than that, I would say. Dickerson just didn't get any turn on that whatsoever. It's hyzering out to the left side. Yeah. He's up there, though. I mean, that's crushed. Mm -hmm. We'll be walking away with this three for sure there. So Dickerson, as you can see here, I said the left uh, OB wouldn't be coming into play, but he got pretty close to it. That's yep. a lot of distance to get up that. Mm -hmm. And Chris with another easy birdie. We've got two holes left here, so he's looking to try and uh, tie the course record, which is set long. There is uh, OB down at the bottom of that hill, so uh, this is why most of these guys are going to be going with a putter here. Something that'll sit down soft. Dickerson going wide, hyzer. Yep. And he knows exactly how hard to throw it. Is that his park? All around together. Great round, actually. And unfortunately, two OBs in the last two holes. Dickerson, once again, a birdie. Um, it is reachable. All these guys, you know, have the opportunity to give himself a putt for the eagle. So let's just see what they can do here. Mm-hmm. And uh, 535 feet, uh, Dickerson actually looking. Uh, we heard that Dickerson's trying to run this, trying to go for a two for this to uh, to try and break the course record. So we'll see what he can do. Maybe going a little bit flippier than normal, you know, trying to attack. And it looks like it's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. He might have turned it over. Oh, just ended up a little bit too turned, yeah. 
Dickerson looking to get up and down. Maybe not quite giving that one a run, just kind of laying it up. Mm -hmm. trying to... Dickerson, if he hits this one, I'm pretty sure he will. Yep. Yep. That's 18 down on court. Check out some of our previous coverage, uh, rounds one, two, and three. And we also have the final nine at Rotary Blue Pins coming up very soon as well. So make sure you stick around and subscribe for that. Uh, once again, I want to thank Seth for joining me here on the commentary. Yep, I enjoyed it. Thanks for having me again. Mm -hmm.